Find the derivative of this function, cosine squared x plus 3 sine inverse of x. So first when I see these, I like to rewrite this first one as cosine x squared. I think it's just easier to do chain rule if you see it that way. And then I'm going to leave this one alone, though, for a reason you'll see in a second. The derivative of this. The 2 gets brought down in front, and we leave the cosine alone. This is chain rule. So then we multiply the derivative of the inside of this, which is negative sine x. Plus, and now this 3 is a constant, so we're just going to leave it there. And now the derivative of sine inverse of x, sine inverse is up here on top, and it says it's 1 over root 1 minus x squared. So we're going to use that to do the derivative of sine inverse. And there's, these notes are very, very helpful when you're doing trig inverse. Feel free to write them down. And that said that the derivative of sine inverse of x is equal to 1 over the root of 1 minus x squared. So we're just going to do that here, times 1 over the root 1 minus x squared. And that's it. And we don't have to do product rule because this 3 is just a constant. So there's no need to do product rule with it. We can clean this up. I'm going to bring the minus in front. So this is negative 2 cosine x sine x plus, and we'll just put the 3 on top here, 3 over root 1 minus x squared. And that is the answer for our derivative. And we can check it. And that's the same thing we got. So I have this page on andymath.com if you guys want to try more of these. It has the notes right here and a bunch of practice problems you can try out all with the answers. Wow, there's a lot of them. There's also related pages for other derivative stuff. I'll include a link down in the description below. Feel free to check it out. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you guys soon.